You want to say hi? He said, I sure, I sure do. Oh, and stretching. Okay, the, you know where the camera's at. He acts, we all know he acts like he doesn't see you, but, but we all know he knows. Exactly where you are. Because the moment this camera comes on, boy, does he act different. He's like massive. He, it's actually kind of like. Dang, they're huge, dude. September 2nd is actually gonna be Loki's second birthday. So, oh my gosh. Um, all right, we've got a Dollar Tree haul today, and I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. If you missed yesterday's haul, I'll link it down below. This yesterday's haul combined with what I'm gonna show you today is actually from one trip to Dollar Tree. Um, I just split them up between different days. Yesterday's theme was all Halloween finds and today is just like random new stuff. Um, there's also some things that just like I've purchased before. So I'll just show you guys what I got. First, I actually wanna show you this. I probably should have saved this for um, my next haul, but I thought it might be cute to get this little house from Dollar Tree, it's actually a chalk house. You could definitely use a chalk marker here. Um, and then I got the numbers. I really like these because they're white with a black outline. And I thought about getting like 31, you know, for Halloween and just kind of like seeing what that looks like. So I'm just gonna like do it really quick on camera as like a really simple and easy DIY. I mean, you can obviously jazz this up with, you know, like, Look how sweet and simple that is. It's so, it, it'll look great in a tear tray. Um, Loki is at the base, so he's moving you guys a little bit. So if the camera's doing this, you don't have vertigo. It's just, you know. Anyways, that was so simple and actually really cute. Um, so love that. I also picked up nail polish remover. This was something that I've been meaning to pick up and I just kept forgetting. I wanted to remove the nail polish that I had when I got my pedicure done. Um, and I also got some cotton balls, but I can't get it off. I can't get the, the nail polish off my toes. I don't know what they used. I don't know if it was like concrete paint or spray paint. I don't know what they used on me, but it just won't come off. So um, I probably have to soak my toes in acetone. Okay, um, moving on. Also on my list were these lighters. This is just something I usually have in stock. I was watching back some of my older videos in our favorite house, not the Florida house, but the one before that. And who remembers when I had the drawer of all my wax melts and candles? Oh God, I just want a drawer like that again. And I used to have like these in stock. So I just needed to get some more for the new house. A uh, house tour coming soon. It's going to be, I don't know when I'm releasing the house tour, maybe Friday. So stay tuned for that. Um, then I found that these shower headbands looked new to me, these patterns. This like white and mint one is actually really cute. I have no idea why this is either, but for some reason I just like, travel back to the 90s with this does anyone ever just like see a random product and it like takes you back but you have no idea you don't know where the connection is you just see it and you feel it that is what i'm experiencing with this i don't know if maybe like back in the 90s there were a lot of like awnings or something with like stripes you know but anyways then i found this one which looks like kind of a dalmatian I don't know, is that like our cow print? That is actually really, and it's like super soft, you guys. Also, what you can do with these is you can wrap them around your wrists, okay? You can get like three of them, um, one for each wrist, and then you can get one obviously for your head, and then that way when you're splashing water, it doesn't drip down all your arms. This like stops the water from dripping. It's a little hack. I know they make actual little bands, you know, for that. That's not as chunky, but you could easily do that. 
You guys, I am so impressed. I'm so glad I actually took these out of the packaging. Run to get these at Dollar Tree immediately. I've never felt anything so soft in my life. I'm gonna have to go back and get more of these colors because I, I think I'm already obsessed. All right, then I found some new like bath bombs. You always have to look out at Dollar Tree. You never know when some new bath bombs are gonna hit. And these are brand new. So this one is a super berry. Um, Body Raves. I've never heard of this brand, but I don't know, it kind of looks familiar. And this one's a strawberry fizz. So super berry and strawberry fizz. I'm very excited to like try these out. I definitely want to see how good they are. Um, they also are super cute and look great in a gift basket. Next up, I found some like miniature first aid kits and they are, sorry, Loki's moving around. They are absolutely darling. I had to get all the ones that I saw. It's 21 count and it kind of like shows you what you get in there. So you're getting some tape, some bigger band-aids, some fun little band-aids in here. And then this one, it's very girly. These are gonna be great to put in a car. This is a really good size um, for that. And then we have like this blue one. Even if like maybe someone's going on a backpacking trip or something and you wanna give them a little gift, um, this could be cute or care package or just to like stock up in your own house, you know? So those are new. All right, I'm gonna put that back over there. And oh, my bad, there's a fourth one. This one's really fun. So I feel like there's something for everyone, a guy, a girl, teenager, little kids, you know? All right, next up, I found this body lotion. I've never seen it at Dollar Tree before. And I had to show you guys that I found this there um, in case it's obviously of any interest to you. It's naturally derived 95%. Uh, it's called Walk in the Woods, it's body lotion. It, is, it has a skin barrier defense and replenishing hydration. Marula oil and cedar wood. I don't know, it's obviously a, bo a body lotion. Wait a damn minute. That smells so damn good. I'm in shock. That's a lot of lotion. Put this on your shopping list. That smells amazing. Then I found these uh, little mini powder puffs from Sassy and Chic. Now Sassy and Chic has been putting out these little mini powder puffs, but this container, this container kind of was like, I was like, I don't know that I've seen them put it in this little travel thing. And it is so freaking cute. Like, look at that. You get four little powder puffs, you know, to kind of like get in those little corners. Love that. Um, then I found these. These are also brand new. They are melting bead kits. Dollar Tree's never put these out before. So when I tell you these are new, these are freaking new. You get an airplane, a cottage, and a school bus. Was there another one? You know, I say Dollar Tree does things in four, so let me just double check. I think this is all that I have, and all of these little beads, like it gives you the instructions. If you need an iron, you know my obsession with the flashcards at Dollar Tree. These have been my newest little loves at this store. I love to look for them, and I have been very pleasantly surprised. I can say that now that I've been really looking at this for the past year at Dollar Tree, I'm surprised at how many new ones show up. And it just makes me so mad at myself for not really looking at these all the years before, because I can't even imagine what collection I could possibly have. But I do use these for junk journaling. They have put out a um, SpongeBob. Now I actually personally can't stand SpongeBob. I don't get it. But like, here we are. I know that it's still a big deal. And I wanted you guys to know that I found SpongeBob. Now, I can still use this, even though I don't like the images. Um, but they're, they're actually kind of cute. I love that it has like the scents. I could definitely cut around that for my junk journal. But also you can just cover this up with your own scrapbook paper and like, you know, use the material. 
Um, then I found this one, which are animals. I thought this one would definitely look darling in junk journaling. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just do a quick YouTube search, type in junk journal, go to town, have fun. Even if you don't wanna do it, I feel like those kinds of videos are so soothing to watch. Um, but look how cute, oh yeah. Very colorful. I love how plain the card really looks. It's not like overly busy. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely precious. Um, so if you're doing like a certain color theme, um, you know, you can go through the cards and find a color that matches your junk journal. Um, also the crab, is anyone on TikTok? Do you guys know, what's that crab's name? The lady like has the crab and she puts little hats on it and she walks it. She has a leash and she walks her little crab. It's adorable. Okay, so there's that. Um, uh, listen, what do you want me to say here? For some reason, I saw this pink together and it just like pulled me even harder. I don't know, it just seemed more brighter to me. And it, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna grab these. I junk journal with them. I have videos on junk journaling where I use these. You can definitely watch it. I'll link some of them down below. Um, then I picked up these. These are my newest obsession at Dollar Tree. These are the Red Bird uh, mints, but they're the kind that are like butter and melt in your mouth. Had to get those. Then I decided to get the this nail file. Now they also have this in a white version and they had it in black. Of course I love black, so I had to get black. Um, I got these so that I could file these down when I, they get too long for me. Like I have to keep my nails super short and when they start to grow out, they start to really bother me. So I thought to myself, let me have a bigger, heavier duty nail file. Um, cause all that I have from Dollar Tree are like the really thin ones. So I found these and I'm just going to keep them on hand so I can like, you know, maintain these as long as I can. Then I found a magnetic planner from Dollar Tree and look at all the patterns that I found. So you get the dry erase marker, has the magnets on the back. So even if you wanna take it to the office or put it on your fridge, or you have some type of command center, this would be so cute for that. Even for your kid, like maybe in middle school in their locker, you know, she can like, or whoever they can like write all their to-do stuff, this would be really cute for that. Um, all right, then I picked up more sticker puzzles. Obsessed with these. I get these for my damn self. I don't knock it until you try it. If you feel like you're constantly thinking and you can't stop or you just always need to do something with your hands, get this, you might actually really enjoy it. Basically, there are several puzzles in here. You see how um, you get these numbers. You just grab from here. Like this is one puzzle. This is another puzzle. There's several, pu there's four total puzzles in here. So, and then you just plug them in the little number and it makes the full correct picture. I have the best time of my life doing this. Yeah, I do, it's accurate. Then I picked up Hansel and Gretel. Now I've actually have hauled this before. Um, I'm gonna use this for junk journaling. The images are super cute in this one. And I'll even use like the book cover and cut it down to size and fit it in my junk journal. I just really like the illustration of it. So that's why I got that. And we're ending today's haul with some Sudoku puzzles. Now this has a four volume collection and I got them all. So volume one, two, three, and four. I love Sudoku, it's so fun. And it's a really good like puzzle to keep in your purse too. You just never know, you know, when you're gonna be sitting somewhere. And that's gonna be it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to watch the previous haul in case you missed it and see all of the Halloween items that I found. 
but more so come back tomorrow because like I, I have to sneak peek this. I have to sneak peek this. Like I just, <sighs> okay. I mean, what I found from Dollar Tree is gonna leave you speechless tomorrow. So I'll see you guys there. Bye.